Waking up early. Understanding, up with the lark. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a charming English phrase, up with the lark. If you're keen on enriching your English vocabulary with idiomatic expressions, this video is for you. So, let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. The phrase, up with the lark, originates from observing nature. Larks are birds known for starting their day extremely early, often singing at the break of dawn. So, when someone says they are up with the lark, it means they are up and active very early in the morning. This expression is often used to describe someone who is an early riser or someone who starts their day at the crack of dawn. Up with the lark is not just a modern phrase, it has historical roots. It has been used in literature and common speech for centuries to depict the habit of rising early. Understanding such phrases enriches your language skills and gives you a glimpse into the culture and history of English-speaking countries. You might encounter this phrase in books, movies, or even in a casual conversation with a native English speaker. To help you grasp how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. Even on weekends, my grandfather is up with the lark, tending to his garden. 2. As a baker, she's always up with the lark to prepare fresh bread for the morning rush. 3. I'm not really up with the lark. I prefer staying up late and waking up late. These examples show how the phrase can be used to describe different lifestyles and habits. In many cultures, being an early riser is often associated with productivity and diligence. Up with the lark encapsulates this idea and reflects a value that is admired in many societies. By using this phrase, you're not only communicating a simple fact about waking up early but also tapping into a deeper cultural appreciation for hard work and efficiency. I hope this video has shed light on the charming phrase, up with the lark. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this one are a great way to add color to your language skills and connect more deeply with English-speaking cultures. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using phrases like this one with ease. Until next time, happy learning!